With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, here the question is using Lenz's law. Lenz's law determine the direction of induced current in the situation described by the figure 3 and figure 4. In figure 3, wire of irregular shape turn into a circular shape in figure 4 loop being deformed into a narrow straight wire. The cross X indicates the magnetic field is into the paper and dot indicates the magnetic field out of the paper. Now, first case in figure 3, the first case is the irregular shape is turned into a circular shape, right? And while uh, the irregular shape is being turned into a circular shape, we can clearly see the surface area is increasing. The, the surface area, area is increasing. And we know students, magnetic flux phi is equals to B, that is magnetic field multiplied by area, right? As the area is increasing, we can say magnetic flux, magnetic flux is increasing. Magnetic flux is increasing. Now, according to Lenz's law students, this is very important. According to, according to Lenz's law. When magnetic flux increases, when magnetic flux increasing, we have to put, we have to put our right hand thumb, right hand thumb opposite to the magnetic field opposite opposite to the magnetic field magnetic field then the curl of the fingers then curl of our fingers curl of our fingers will give the direction of will give the direction of induced current induced current now student this is the case when the magnetic flux is increasing now in this first case the magnetic flux is increasing and here the magnetic field direction is as the magnetic flux is increasing and the magnetic field direction is here is the into the paper right and according to Lenz's law when magnetic flux is increasing we have to put our right hand thumb opposite to the direction of magnetic field that is we have to put our right hand thumb that uh, uh, put our right hand thumb that it comes out of the paper then if we curl our finger the curl of our fingers will give it will rotate in an anti-clockwise direction that is in this direction the curl of our fingers will rotate in this direction so the induced current will be the current induced will be in anti-clockwise direction will be in direction is direction is anti-clockwise anti clockwise direction that is anti clockwise right that is from it will travel from a b c and d now students the second one here is the second one the uh, in the second one this uh, this um, what happens is the circular loop is being deformed right and here student the area is decreasing so we can say the magnetic flux is also decreasing so as area is decreasing as area is decreasing magnetic flux magnetic flux 
is also decreasing is also decreasing now students when magnetic flux decreases according to lenz's law according to lenz's law when magnetic flux decreases we have to put we have to put our right hand thumb our right hand thumb in the direction of the magnetic field in the direction of magnetic field of magnetic field so that as uh, so that the curl of our rest fingers will give the direction of the induced current right so students here as the uh, as the magnetic flux is decreasing and the uh, and the dot shows that the magnetic field is out of the paper right so we have to put our right hand thumb out of the paper so the curl of our fingers will again away again will be in the anti clockwise direction right that is the current will flow from a to d to c to b to a that is again the induced current will be in anti clockwise direction again we can say the induced current will be in anti clockwise direction and here a d c b a and here it is a b c d and a thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today